The original enactment of lighting the menorah, the Chanukiah, on Hanukkah, was to light it on the entrance of your home towards the street. Pesach Beisai Mibachutz. What side of the door do you put it? So the Gemara has a dispute. One opinion says you put the mezuzah on the right side as you enter, and you put the menorah right next to the mezuzah. And the reason, the logic is, because the right always takes precedence in matters of halacha, with few exceptions. The other opinion, which is the final opinion, says, no, you put it on the left. The mezuzah is on the right, and the Hanukkah menorah is on the left. So we have to understand what's the significance of putting the Hanukkah menorah on the left. Why on the left? Now, because of conditions that arose subsequent to the story of Hanukkah and the period of Hanukkah, when Jews were in exile, exile to Europe, for example, where the weather conditions would not permit you to put your menorah outside, also the anti-Semitic climate that existed, that prevailed. So the Hanukkah menorah had to be brought into the home, and two different customs emerged. One custom, which is very popular these days, is to put it in the window. Why would it be put in the window? To preserve the idea of having the menorah in a place where it could be seen outside, publicizing the miracle. That's a very important part of Hanukkah, to publicize the miracle. So you put it in your window so people outside could see it. Another custom developed, which is mostly practiced in the Hasidic communities, to put it inside, also in the doorway. The mezuzah is on the right, and the Hanukkah menorah is on the left. So the question is, why do we focus on the left? Judaism is clearly in favor of doing things with your right hand. If you're right-handed, a left-handed person does things with his left hand, because that's his real right hand. And to do things on the right side of things, you turn, you always go in the direction of the right. And that's why you put the mezuzah on the right as you enter. So why is the Hanukkah menorah put on the left? The Rebbe explains that Hanukkah menorah's objective has very much to do with the left. Because in mystical literature, in Kabbalah and Hasidus, the right represents the forces of kindness, of goodness, of divinity, of light. The left is the symbol of impurity. Now, the whole objective of lighting the Hanukkah menorah is not just to bring light in your home. The idea is to extend that light towards the outside to the point where you are able to bring light even to the street. The street is a symbol of many different ideas, some of them antithetical to holiness and to goodness. The left is also another symbol of the impure forces that exist in this world. And the objective of the Hanukkah menorah is to illuminate the darkness. That's why we light the Hanukkah menorah after sunset, when it gets dark, as opposed to the lighting of the menorah in the Beis Hamikdash, which had to be done before sunset. But the Hanukkah menorah has to be done in a way that accentuates its role as bringing light even into the darkness, to the point of even transforming the darkness. Hanukkah menorah, in that sense, is modeled after the mitzvah of tefillin. Tefillin is one of the few exceptions where we put our tefillin on our left arm, although if you're left-handed, you put it on your right, because that becomes your left, your weaker arm. Weaker physically is a, is a representation of a spiritual weakness, and tefillin is where you take the straps and you bind those straps, and you bind the left side and control it and elevate it. And the Hanukkah lights, similarly, are intended to bring light even to the outside, to the street, to the left side. There's another explanation that has been given in the Hasidic work called Shem Mishmuel. And he argues that, in fact, the Hanukkah menorah is placed on the right side, opposite the mezuzah. Well, how could that be? The mezuzah is on the right. It says it depends which direction you're going. The mezuzah is intended to make sure that there are no negative influences entering the home. So you put the mezuzah on the right as you enter, as if to say, I'm entering the home, but not you, not these negative forces. The mezuzah keeps them out, because the mezuzah represents God's unity. What is written in the mezuzah, the Shema Yisrael, the declaration that God is one, and there's no room for anything antithetical that is anathema to, to God. And therefore, when you put the mezuzah on the right as you enter, you allow 
only the positive forces to enter with you, but not the negative. But the Hanukkah menorah has the opposite objective. It's to take the light that's in the home and to transmit it and to generate that light outward to bring light to the outside, as we just mentioned before. So as the light is going out, you're going in the direction of the, towards the outside. It's on your right side as well. So the mezuzah is on the right as you enter. The menchanic menorah is on the right as you leave. The mezuzah has a very direct connection to Hanukkah. The Midrash tells us that as a result of the influence of the Syrian Greeks, the, the intention was that they should cause the Jewish people to assimilate, to adopt the culture of the Greeks, the pagan culture, the secular culture of the Greeks. And it did work. Unfortunately, many of the Jews became the Misyavnim, the Hellenists, that adopted Greek culture. And one of the casualties, there are many casualties, but one of them was the mezuzah. The mezuzah is the way to identify that this home is a Jewish home. This is a home that conforms to God's will. So when they removed their mezuzahs, they allowed the negative influences to enter their homes. And that resulted, the Medrash says, in another decree of the Greeks. The Greeks banned a lot of things. They started off with banning Shabbat, they banned circumcision, they banned Rosh Chodesh, the celebration of the first of every month. And then they, from there on, they banned the study of Torah and everything else. But another thing that they did, it's not so well known, is they removed the doors of the homes. So no one had any privacy and modesty. But their intention was, if you think you're going to keep the negative influences outside of your home, forget that. It's not going to happen. We will remove whatever barrier that exists between the outside and the inside of your home. That will prevent you from stopping these influences from entering. So when we make sure to have a mezuzah on the right side of our doorposts, of our front entrance, and then by Jewish law, in every entrance of the home except for a bathroom or small closet, you are complementing the role of the mezuzah because how could you transmit light from the home to the outside when the outside entered into your home? So the outside is in your home as well. And this may explain why Chabad custom and Hasidic custom in general is to light the menorah inside the home. If the purpose of the menorah is to bring light from the home to the outside, shouldn't it be done in the window where you can see the outside, people could see it? And the answer could be is that the outside has already penetrated into the homes. Tragically, we're living in a very dark exile where the influences are insidious. You can't prevent them because of all the modern ways of accessing information. So if you put it by the exit of your home on the window towards the outside, the mezuzah didn't prevent the negative forces from entering. You have to go inside the home, reaching the inner sanctum of the home that had not been contaminated, and light the menorah there in a way that it will bring light to the outside of the house. And you have to go all the way deep down. And that's what Hanukkah is, where we go deep down into the core of our souls. And they found the cruce of oil. It was sealed with the seal of the high priest. Now, normally, oil does not have to be sealed by the seal of the high priest. But this demonstrates that while any other part of our lives could have become affected and contaminated by the surrounding culture, there's always that pure cruce of oil inside, deep down, the core of our soul, the spark of Mashiach, in the words of the Baal Shem Tov, that is not contaminated. And that's what we reach into when we light the Hanukkah menorah and we take that core and we spread it throughout the home and towards the outside as well. Have a happy Hanukkah.